hello hello welcome to my channel thank you for stopping in i hope you'll drop a like and check it out so listen in the horse ranch the sims are the horses are considered a sim you have full control over it however these little fellers can wander and for whatever reason they can open doors by themselves and yes you have the option to lock them out to lock your door for all many sheep but guess what like some sims they got the ability to hack because regardless even less of that unless it's a glitch they're getting in the house now this is my barbie ranch and this is her roommate shasta that i just moved in so here's the thing oh yes ken will be on the scene soon any who's mm. if somebody else's sheep from another of your households or just some random sheep wanders into your house if you do not own it you don't have the ability to get it out of your house which, when you already have a full house of Sims with lots of chores, they will make messes to include on top of the tasks they already have to manage to pee and wee in the house. <coughs> so how do you get them out when you don't have any control over them? So what I've tried to do is I will go to the door, take my Sim outside, and then have her, you do have the option to come in, ask them to come over, to call them over. So... Go outside. So currently my Sim is standing outside the door. And she doesn't have to open this door for this sheep because it will do it on its own. So that's what I've done. I've asked her to call the sheep over. Hopefully she won't go inside the house. Come on. Come on. She come on, baby. Ta-da! Now as soon as it walks outside, pause. Get your Sim back in and lock the door. In fact, I could lock this door. Without her moving, because there's there's another door she can go into. And lock it for all, all sheep. And hopefully that will keep them out. It won't make them go home. You can call over, you know, do a... I have the get-together pack, and so I'm going to um, have the specific person that owns this sheep come over to the house. And you won't have control of them, of that person when they're at your house. But hopefully the sheep will follow them home or something. Because otherwise, anytime you go in and out of the store, the sheep's going to try to get in there. So this is kind of a nuisance. But they're so cute. They are such a cute little critter. So, so cute. But they're kind of a nuisance when they're not yours and you have no control over them. So I do hope that people will call and ask for the developer to give us ability to uh, take the sheep home. Like, for example, other sims can pick up other kids and talk to them and interact with them. And they can pick up babies if they're not theirs. So I don't know why a sim that, you know, doesn't own a sheep cannot pick up a sheep and carry it outside the house. I think the developer should get that out often, unless they just chose to find different ways to annoy us for their entertainment. <laughs> this is one of them. So now you have to lock the doors for horses, for goats, for sheep, in addition to other people. So lock for all many sheep, and you have to individually go through each instruction. Lock for... And then say all horses, go back, lock for all mini goats, and then lock for all mini sheep. And so hopefully they won't, because yeah, horses can get in your house too. And crap all over the place. And your sims, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I was done with that house over there, Barbie's house. Now I'm over here at Corey and Rose's. And this is little Corey Jr. And look at him, he's out here on the dance floor. Oh my goodness. That is too cute. Other than he needs a bath, I need to get the dirty dishes off the dance floor, but that's too cute. He's out there all by himself getting down. Oh my goodness. Anywho, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more. I hope you have a blessed day. Leave a like, subscribe. Bye.